are my most expensive minifigures. And these are imposters. And today, I'm putting you to the test to see if you can spot which minifigure is fake. Let's do this. Now, as you know, LEGO Star Wars minifigures are some of the most sought-after pieces of plastic on the market, with tons of figures selling for over $50. But if you think that's crazy, here are some that are valued at over $100, $200, and even $300. And while there are even more rare figures out there, what if I told you you could get the exact same figure for $4? Then you'd be getting scammed, bro! Don't even <laughs> fall for that! Now, these are fake figures, and in order to compare them to the real minifigure, I need to open a few sets from 2013. Starting with this Z95 headhunter that was actually gifted to me by one of you guys, a member of the Bob Squad, in hopes that more people would get to enjoy the set. So here we go. This is not a drill. What's going on? It smells kinda toasty down here. Everything is Fine. Ah, that was yummy. All right, back to building. Ah, let's try that again. This is the Z95 Headhunter, complete with a pilot and fully swooshable exterior design. I only broke one maroon piece, there's a compartment for the accessories, retractable landing gear, and this deadly accurate dart cannon. First try. Take that. <laughs> Might have spent longer than I care to admit doing this. But if you aren't already familiar with this character, Paul Krell was the Jedi general responsible for absolutely eliminating clones left and right. And now that I have the official Paul Krell minifigure, we can compare him with this fake version. This figure has a molded headpiece that stacks onto a torso to give him four arms, but maybe this one is better off with just two. And to make things worse, I also got this ARC Trooper Jesse. And the waist cape was alright, but then the shoulder pauldron just made him look like a frilled lizard. Also, there weren't any instructions on how to do the backpack. Dude, I have no idea. And why is the waist cape so puffy? Something just really looks off about this helmet too. I also got a regular clone that looks alright initially, but the helmet prints are always just a little bit off, and you can see the molding marks on the armor. And if you want to talk really goofy looking helmet prints, this one is like speckled and and dirty. And what's up with the tips of those blasters? I noticed that these figures came in slightly different bags, with this warning label about not placing it over a child's head because they could suffocate. But how is this supposed to fit over a child's head? <laughs> this one's definitely the worst though. Why this Commander Wolf minifigure has a jetpack, no scar on his face print, and it took me like 62 tries to attach the flashlight. But by far the worst part of these fake minifigures is the fact that the torso just does not connect to the legs, so every time you try to pull them off the studs, they just break apart. Now this next figure is Coleman Trabor, and I basically wanted to get this one just so that I could open up my 2013 ATTE that I happened to purchase at a very sketchy marketplace last year for $200. Oh, these are my favorite parts. Check this out. Then I used my brick separator for the stickers because I didn't have the emotional capacity to withstand them being crooked. <laughs> and just like that, we've hit the jackpot with Mace Windu, a yellow P1 clone, Coleman Trabor, and two battle droids. Because that's what LEGO does. They just throw in two battle droids when they don't know what else to include. LEGO has also been using clones that double as pilots and gunners since 2013, and there's clearly a lack of clone troopers to fill up this ATTE, so we'll just put these guys back here. Honestly, there's really not a lot of play value here, so I added this little spinner piece and that really made things interesting. But can you tell the difference between these minifigures? Because I mean, they look pretty identical. Until you see that bombastic side eye. But before we compare the rest of these, let's open up a few more fake figures like this Shadow Arf Trooper, which officially sells for about $350. And no, I don't have this one, but it almost looks real until you see the helmet and the eyes just look a little off. The print is also kind of blue instead of gray, but the torso does surprisingly look good. Now, while I do have this rare Darth Revan polybag, which goes for like $350. I'm not trying to open this one up, so it's also kind of hard to tell if this one's a fake just by looking at it. <laughs> if you added an official Lego hood, cape, and probably a lightsaber piece, I do think you could fool some people, but as soon as you feel it, you know it's fake because the plastic just feels different. This next one is TC-14, the protocol droid from episode one, and this fake figure is just absolute trash. I couldn't even get the arms and the hands to connect because of the added thickness from the layer of the chrome paint, so I had to resort to a better tool than my poor little thumbs. So I searched through my dad's toolbox for some pliers, and as you can see, this worked really well. 
Where'd the arm go? I got the arm in the socket. I was looking for it all over on the floor. Ain't no way. But then I couldn't get the arm into the other side, and then I broke the hand right in two. And then I had to clean up the chrome dust in case it was toxic. And then I got sidetracked and dusted my entire desk. That's better. And this is why you don't buy fake minifigures. Some of them are just absolute garbage. In order to compare this last figure here to the real one, I need to open up the 2013 Duel on Geonosis set in order to get this charming Count Dooku. Oh, we just need the like a double check. Actually, hang on, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that is weird. You know what else is Hopefully weird? it'll stay the same. How loudly you're talking. This set also includes Yoda, this droid, and Poggle the Lesser with these sick wings. <laughs> I seriously felt like such an idiot having to look up how to put the wings on. Oh, I see. It's literally the same as a cape piece, but I don't know. I guess I was thrown off by how many holes there were. What do you mean by that? Anyways, this set is actually pretty sick. It comes with this speeder bike, and you can attach Yoda onto the acro arm to do some crazy flips. <laughs> and you can make this thing fall down, which is pretty fun. But now it's time to really put these figures to the test with a little game I like to call Flick the Fake Fig. Okay, first up we have Malgus, and as you can see, the fake figure is just a little too detailed, and the colors are a little too drastic. Also, the cape and the lightsaber piece are a dead giveaway. Next up is our boy Zeb, and again, the torso is pretty believable, but the head mold just looks like a McDonald's kid's toy. Too shiny. Okay, I think this one is the most obvious because the wolf helmet doesn't even match the sand blue color, and those chest lines are way too thin. Pong Krell looks pretty good, minus the obvious color differences on the head and the belt line. Lightsabers and imperfect leg molds are also a dead giveaway that this one is fake. <laughs> Again with Coleman Trabor and his vicious side eye. This is kind of hard to tell, but you can see the seam on the face and the eye print also looks pretty cheap, making this the fake one. And lastly, we've got Sabine Wren, and I'd be surprised if you got this one right without looking at the top of the helmet, which is just rough. <laughs> Hold on. There's also some missing coloration on the torso, and don't even get me started on the face print. Don't even. Look at this dude. Like, why can't the helmet colors just match the rest of the body? Then I built this little field goal and started dunking on these fakies. Now, I got all of these fake figures on Etsy, and I spent about $80 trying them out so that you don't have to. These ones were actually not too bad if you needed a quick fix for your own creation and you didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on the real figure because I get it, they're super expensive. I'd also recommend these perch troopers for your own creations too because they're pretty good quality. But now let's see if I can fool my brother with these fake figures. You're so tall. What's up guys? <laughs> if he can guess the correct minifigure, then I have to jump in the lake. You can't touch them though. Which one is the you fake I can't touch them? Don't touch them. Okay, the one on the left is fake. <laughs> Three out of three. You have to get three out of three. Zebaralius. Mm, uh, it's the one on the right. Ah, he's on the seat. Ooh, Sabine. Sabine. Okay, time's up. Okay, I can see the one on the right already. So. Oh my god. Will you just hold this for me and follow me? Time to get in the leg, Danny. You did this to yourself. I did this to myself. That's why you don't buy fake minifigures. This is dumb. Why do we do this kind of stuff? Don't forget to subscribe. Oh my gosh. It's not even that bad. No? Yeah, it's fine. The lake was about 38 degrees, and no, I did not get sick, but thank you for your concerns. If you liked the video, make sure to act on the feeling by actually hitting the like button, and let me know if you want to see more content like this.